Hello everyone, today we'll be programming a Windows Form application. Uh, the first thing you will need is Microsoft Visual Studio. If you don't have Microsoft Visual Studio, um, you can download it for free. Uh, just type Microsoft Visual Studio in Google, click on the Downloads link, and we'll be using the Community version, and click on the free download. Once it downloads, you can go ahead and install that. And once you have it installed, go ahead and open Visual Studio. And we're going to go ahead and click on File, New, Project. Make sure Windows Classic Desktop is highlighted under Visual C Sharp. And we'll go, we'll go ahead and click the Windows Forms application template. Let's give our project a name. We'll call it Hello World. Click OK and we have a form. We can test it out by clicking on the start button and we have a form on the screen. Congratulations. Now we can maximize it, minimize it, or we can close it. If you close the form, it'll stop the debugging rather than clicking on the stop icon in Visual Studio. You can actually just close the form for now whichever one you would like. Okay, so we have a form. This form has properties. We can go ahead and edit the properties. On the right hand side, we have the Solution Explorer with all our files. And uh, right below that, we have our Properties window. So as we can, we can see that the form that's selected at the moment is Form 1. Form 1 was the default name given to that form when we created the project. Let's go all the way down to the bottom and we can actually go ahead and change the text. We'll type hello world and as you can see now the title of that window is hello world. Now this technically is a window but we'll go ahead and call it a form. So everything in this environment here is a form. Remember, we're creating a win, uh, Windows form application. So this window here is a form, and that's why it was named Form 1. We changed the text to Hello World. Let's go ahead and also change its name. And we'll name it the Hello World form. Okay. You can also change other properties like the background color instead of having that gray. Let's go ahead and, well, we only have blues and grays, but let's click on web. That'll give us more options. Let's do a steel blue. And the background changes. Let's click on start. And now you have a form with a steel blue background. It's starting to look a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and close it down. On the left hand side, we have what's called the toolbox. And if you don't have this drop down selected, it's called the All Windows Forms. Go ahead and select that there. Now, here we have a lot of uh, forms, which are also, you can call them controls to understand a little bit better of what they are. For example, we have a button. Um, we have a combo box. Uh, we have a lot of things under these uh, this form menu. So the actual window is a form, and then anything inside of the toolbox is also called a form. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drag a button onto our form. And as you could tell, we have selected the button and on the properties window, it's updated to that form. Okay, so let's change the name of that button. Let's call it the click me button. Okay. And we can also change the text. So right now the text is button one, it's pretty boring. So let's go ahead and change it to click me. And you can tell 
that it's changed. The text changed on the button. Let's go ahead and click start. And now we have a form with a button in the middle. If you click it, it doesn't do anything. So let's get it to do something. Let's go back to our toolbox and let's drag out what's called a label. If you don't know what a label is, it's just simply just, it's just text. So what we'll do is we'll change the text to something here. It's a little bit hard to see. So what we'll do is we'll change the four color. Let's go ahead and do white. Do we actually have white? Let's just do window. Okay. Click start. We have a button and a label. Let's name it output label. Okay. Now, in order to create an event, all you have to do is double click the button. I double click the button and now the .cs file have been, has been uh, presented to me and we can see that the event for the click has been generated. Anything that I program inside of these two curly braces will be executed whenever I click this button. So let's change this text here. Remember we have our name which is the output label and under this event of clicking the me, uh, click me button we're going to go ahead and type output label. Remember what we changed earlier? Something here is under the text property. So we're going to go back here. And we're going to go ahead and access that property by typing dot text equals. You clicked the button. We'll go ahead and save the file. I always use control save. You can save it as you would like. And let's click the start button. Let's click and the label's updated. 